Moving away took a piece out of my heart, ripped me in two. I had never felt pain like that in my life. At least, it couldn't get any worse, or so I thought. My family used to be like any other back then. A white picket fence, filled with dreams. Then the economy tanked and left my mom and dad spiraling. We tried to keep it together, but my mom and dad split up pretty soon after. During the divorce, I was dragged back and forth, fought over until the courts settled on a decision. My mother was unfit to raise me, they said. So here I am, in Spork's fucking Washington, as cold as can be. Look, hon, I know this readjustment is going to take some time for you, but it's only going to be for the last part of high school. Two years might seem like a long time right now, but trust me, it all go by before you know it. Spork's high was everything that I expected in some ways, but in others... I asked my new friend who they were, and she said that Those are the Cutlets, probably one of the most infamous families in town. I was drawn to them, and I didn't know why I couldn't look away. looking a little under the weather today. Oh, um, I'm just tired from homework and syllabuses and stuff. Yeah, it's such a bore reading through them every year. <laughs> yeah. You scared me half to death. You're cute when you're scared. I was wondering, um, where are you from before here? I mean, since you're new. Oh, um, I'm from Phoenix. You know, the capital of Arizona. Sounds pretty dry. Uh, yeah, it wasn't the best, but I, I have some good memories. Yeah. Um, anyways, I, I think I'm gonna head out now. Uh, I, listen, I've been meaning to ask you, um, would you maybe want to go out sometime? I mean, what about this weekend, maybe? So soon? I, I mean, um, yeah, Saturday sounds good. Great. OK, I'll see you tomorrow in class. I'm just a little stressed out about what happened today. Oh shit, what happened? I was walking home and all of a sudden this car was coming at me, but it was stopped by one of the cutlets. She like pushed it out of the way, like she was a superhero or something. Yeah, that family was a bunch of weirdos for sure. I heard some people in class claiming that they're like these ancient beings and that they suck on the blood of babies to be young again, like some wood shit. <laughs> yeah, creepy. <laughs>
You had enough nature, city girl? I just wish we had more time together. I mean, I could pick you up tomorrow and bring you to school. No, I usually walk with Josh. I don't want to ditch him. Him? Really? He's my friend. What am I supposed to do? Edmund? You didn't eat the fruit you bought me today. You're not at school when the sun's out. Your skin is sickly pale. And the way you didn't even seem phased by what happened with Astrid. What are you trying to say? I know what you are. Then say it. You're... You're a vampire. Are you scared? No. Then you don't know anything about me or Astrid. I don't care. I'm not leaving. We should get going. Yes, yeah, okay. Um, I gotta, I should get going, so I'll see you later. Too late, so. What are you doing? What do you want, Cutlet? I wasn't talking to you. Scared. Guys, come on! How can you be so riled up at 9 a.m.? <sighs> They're being stupid. Are you okay? I can walk you to class if you'd like. Yeah, that would be great. Look. I'm going to walk Stella, and you fools are going to class. You know the way? Boys are so stupid. I don't know why they're like that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyways, what are you doing tonight? Tonight I'm going to pick up my dress for prom. Are you doing anything? Definitely not. I don't really think that stuff is for me. It's your choice, but I think you're missing out. Well, I'll see you later. I'll talk to Edmund tonight. He shouldn't be acting like that. Also, do you like baseball? Where are you going? Um, Astrid and Edmund invited me to hang out with them. They want me to play baseball with their family. All right, Stills, so but baseball? I thought you hated sports. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Stella. What's up, Jeep Starling? Nice to see you, Edmund. Not too late, Stells. Don't worry. I'll get her back in time. Bye, Dad. Why do you guys play baseball in the middle of the forest? You'll see. It's time. Stella, your empire. Call him like you see him. by the rules anymore. Let Stella think we're a bunch of fucking cheaters. What the fuck is she doing here anyway? You're just gonna kill her. Leave! Leave now! Stella, are you all right? Yeah. I just wanted to have a fun evening playing baseball. How can you even stand to be around me right now? You didn't ruin anything. Edmund shouldn't have fought with Ruby like that, not with you there. And the blood is bothersome, but it's not nearly as upsetting as the idea of hurting you. 
when I'm with you, I feel calm and happy. I wish it could be that way with Edmund, but then he gets angry or mean. And I know it's not just because he's a vampire, because you're kind and gentle and caring. And you're a vampire. Um, I think I'm ready to go now. My mind whirled full of images I couldn't understand, and some I didn't want to. Nothing seemed clear at first, but as I looked back at my time here, a few certainties became evident. About two things I was absolutely positive. First, Edmund and Astrid were vampires. And second, I was unconditionally and irrevocably in love with Edmund's sister. Edmund, we need to talk. Stella, you haven't been replying to my messages. I mean, what's so important you can't just reply to me? Stop. I don't think we should be together anymore. <laughs> I get it, okay? I was a little rough at <laughs> the baseball game the other day. But are you just gonna let that get in the way of me and you? <laughs> I mean, I have been so good to you. Can't you see that? Don't you remember what you did to me at the baseball game? No, I'm done. I found someone else. Yeah? Yeah, and who's this dipshit that's so much better than me then? Stella, where the hell have you been, Loka? No! Stop! For once in your life, stop and listen. The sprint steals you from me and what? I'm supposed to just let it happen? Do you even hear yourself? I'm not yours to steal. I thought you were being protective, but... And I just realized you wanted control. No, 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 I'm protecting you! I've been alive for a century until I've seen shit! I'm the only one who can protect you. And you need me. I don't need you. And I don't need you to protect me. In fact, the only person I need to stay away from is you. Every day I'm with you, I feel like I'm holding my breath so I don't set you off. I, I tried communicating and I tried making it work, but... From this moment forward, we're done. All of this over some childhood friend. Let me say this nice and slow. I don't love Josh White. Happy? I've never loved him. He's always been a friend to me. Nothing more. Okay. So you don't love Josh. And apparently you don't love me, so... Who the fuck do you love, So. I love Astrid Cutler. I've always loved her, since the very first moment I laid eyes on her, to the moment I'm looking at her now. I love you, Astrid. You're the first person I want to see when I wake up, and you're the only person I want to see in my dreams. And I'm sorry I didn't recognize it sooner, but I can say with 100% certainty, I love you. I love you too. What type of gay agenda is this? Was, was this your plan all along? Just go up to my girlfriend, get her all confused. Shut the fuck up, Edmund. Or I swear I'll make the rest of your eternity a hell for you. Get the fuck away from us. Well, have fun while you can. Because I know one day, you're going to beg to take me back. Over my dead body! Hey, Stella. Great monologue. But it's really hard to say whatever day me. That was a bit harsh. I'm sorry, you were collateral damage. I do. Um, yes, of course, of course I do. <laughs> Thank you.
C, take one.